Hello, I'm John from The Haunt Informer, and today I'm going to give you my review for Valley of Fear for 2023. So I went to the Valley of Fear in Feasterville, Pennsylvania. This is the ticket, and they rip off part of it here where the names of the attractions are, and it is good for one night only, so they write the day you actually went on the back with Sharpie, so with marker, so they actually know which day you were going, and it's only good that one night. So I just want to make sure everybody knows that. It's just for the one night you want to. It's good. The way it works with attractions is you will go up this hill and you can go to the Haunted Hayride. And after you do the Haunted Hayride, that will drop you off right in front of the walkthrough attraction, the Haunted House, Miles Manor. And after Miles Manor, you can go back to the Midway, have a drink, eat some food, hang out with some friends, dance to some music. And then do the last attraction, Willie Shipwreck Cove, or you can just do that. You can just do the two attractions and you don't have to do the third. But since you're there, I would highly recommend doing Willie Shipwreck Cove because it is a very unique attraction and worth your time. So I definitely recommend doing all three attractions, getting the Fear Pass, that's what I got. And I actually got a discount on it because I paid attention to their social media and I don't remember how much I got off. It might have been like 20 or 30%, but I got a discount on it because I bought it pre-season and they had special discounts. They call them like killer pre-season discounts. So definitely stay tuned to their social media and also sign up for their newsletter because they give you discounts via email. So definitely check that out. So the first attraction I did was the Haunted Hayride. And this is a very good quality hayride. I loved it. I went last year and really enjoyed it. First time at Valley Fear last year, really enjoyed it. And I went with my friends Halloween Haunts 365. This time I went solo. And I still had an excellent time. That hayride is so well done. They put so much time and effort into it. The actors were giving 100%. And they built a brand new area in the beginning of the hayride that is all themed out to Jason Voorhees with Camp Crystal Lake. And what's unique about it is it's not just one version of Jason Voorhees. There's mobile versions. So they have one version that looks like the Kane Hodder version with the body bag where he hits it against the tree and they have the one version of him where it's the sackhead version where he just has the one eye cut out from Friday the 13th part two and you see the classic version of Jason and he acts like he's killing mobile other scare actors and they acting like victims and it all plays out really well i was very impressed by it and the scare actors acting like they were dying were doing a great job as well great screams and acting or running around the wagon trying to run away and you have to go for yourself to see that it was so well done definitely the best versions of jason Voorhees i've seen on a hayride i've seen lots of different versions of jason on a hayride but those were definitely the best they're the most intense and most screen accurate depictions of Jason Voorhees I have seen. The actors doing a fantastic job. So massive shout out to all those characters. You were doing a great job. And talking about horror movie icons. They also have a section dedicated to Michael Myers. All the characters portraying Michael Myers and the victims were doing an awesome job. Just like last year, I love that Halloween kill scene dedicated to like the firefighter scene where the firefighters are like, you shouldn't be here, get out of here. And then Michael Myers comes out of the burning building. They have the projections on there where it looks like it's burning, comes out with the axe and acts like he's killing them. And it's absolutely insane. And there's another scene where it looks like it's more like Halloween 4 and he comes out of the diner at people and it was really well done. I absolutely love the Michael Myers scenes on there. And I also really love that brand new area with Jason Voorhees. They were so well done. The whole hayride is really well done. I don't want to give everything away, but those really stood out to me. Really good quality and really good quality zombie scare actors in there as well. But everybody did a great job. I really enjoyed every single scene. And I also have to give a massive shout out to the finale of the hayride that has been updated. They have the toy box scene still, like the clown toy box scene. That's what they refer to it as with operations. And after that, they built a brand new carnival scene. They took out the old Pennywise scene and put in this massive clown scene. And it looks like you're going under a broken roller coaster. And there's sound effects, which is really neat. You have to see this for yourself. It's very cool. You drive under that with the wagon and you go into this new carnival building and it says victor grins carnival he's actually the one on the marketing right here there is a scare actor portraying that character and he does an excellent job and he mimes this soundtrack where it looks like he's snapping his bones and talking to you and this distorted microphone and 
it is so well done, and then the music kicks in, it's super intense, and all these characters are coming out at you, and shout out to Grin and Cheeks in there, this is Grin, shout out to Grin, I saw him, and he came out of his scare spot, and he had a chainsaw, put the chainsaw right at me, so massive shout out to Grin, he gave me this signed poster, which is awesome, it says, to John, keep it creepy, Grin, so thank you very much for this. That's awesome. And also his wife Kristen was there portraying her character Cheeks, and she's able to put a balloon through her nose and through her mouth. It's like balloon flossing, and she was doing that, and it's really gnarly. It was creeping people out and scaring them, and the other characters that were portraying clowns, and they were doing a great job as well, and all the sound effects and the soundtrack, and Victor Grin talking on that distorted microphone, and it was awesome. It was an excellent finale for a hayride. One of the best finales for a hayride I've seen because it is really impactful. Like it is very intense with that soundtrack. That whole pre-show with Victor Grin was very well timed. That scare actor portraying Victor Grin was doing an excellent job miming those sound effects perfectly with the breaking the arms and snapping his back and everything and then actually doing improv and talking to the hayride and I loved it. That was a very good quality ending to a hayride. I loved it, and of course that Terror Dome scene was awesome too, and I don't want to give everything away, you have to go for yourself, but that was an excellent quality hayride, actors were top notch, giving their all, doing an excellent job, I absolutely love that hayride, you have to go to Valley of Fear, it's worth your time and money just to go see that hayride, you're going to love it, you're like, wow, that was like really, really good, like everybody on the hayride was getting scared, or laughing, or a mix of both, and it was really good, and I love that sometimes the characters actually get on the wagon and actually loom over people and scare them when they were paying attention to something else, and I had so much fun. That was a fantastic hate ride. This hayride is different than other hayrides you've been on because normally you sit on the wagon and the hay and you are facing towards each other, the other customers, and the scare actors can come into the center of the wagon and scare you that way or jump on the sides. This one's different because you are sitting on the edge with your feet dangling. So that is how that works and the scare actors can get on in the middle and scare you from there and you can't get away. And that's really cool. I really like that. I definitely think it's more intense that way because the characters can get like right up on you and you see everything really well. So I really enjoy that. So it definitely is an interesting way of doing a hayride and I prefer that over the other version where you're sitting looking at everybody because I feel like that is effective at times, but I also think that you can't see everything as well. Like you can't look around as well and it's, yeah, I, I just like it better. I like this style of doing a hayride better. I still really enjoy the hayrides that do it the other way, but I definitely really appreciate this unique style of doing it. And at one point near the end, they tell everybody, pull your legs in because it's a tighter, closer set. And there's less space for your legs, so you pull them up, and then you sit up with your legs on the hay, and then you see the final scene. Something that's unique about this hayride is there is a moderator for the whole attraction. So there's a staff member for the haunted attraction that is on the wagon the whole time and she tells you the rules before you go through the traction, and she makes sure people are staying in check, like they're not swearing too much, because a lot of children come to this event as well, it's an all-ages event, and making sure people aren't swearing too much, aren't touching the actors, you know, just staying in line. So it's, it's nice that they have that moderated there, and when I was going through this hayride, there were people getting scared really bad and swearing, and she said, please stop swearing so much. So I definitely did enjoy that they had a moderator and it definitely makes it different than other hayrides I've been on and the sound design was very good quality on this there was not a speaker on the wagon it was hidden in the woods and they did a great job with that so and they also introduced the name of the tractor driver for you our tractor driver was Bob so shout out to Bob for driving safely and taking us through the attraction And the hayride will drop you off right in front of the facade of Miles Manor, the walkthrough haunted house. And it looks like this broken down, condemned house. And you go in. And before you go in, there's a crazy scare actor there. Shout out to Spike from Field of Screams. I'll have his information linked below so you can go check out his social media. He's a scare actor that has scared people many times. Actually, he had Field of Screams with the Den of Darkness. So he has a ton of experience being a crazy scare actor with a chainsaw. And he's at Valley of Fear now. 
and he is doing a great job there as the Chainsaw character at the end of Miles Manor, and he looked like a crazy insane asylum patient with fake blood all over his face and his outfit, and he was like in this customized straight jacket, and it was very intense. So shout out to Spike, you did a great job. Awesome energy, I loved it. He was scaring people left and right with his chainsaw. He was doing a great job. So Miles Manor got a lot of changes for 2023. They had a lots of new scenes. They added a new library, which is very dank and decrepit. And there was a creepy librarian in there. I really enjoyed that. And they also add this whole like crypt with like skulls on the walls and everything you have to go through. And they, I think they added more claustrophobia bags than before. So that was definitely really interesting. And near the end, they added this incredibly trippy UV clown area with a vortex tunnel and definitely shout out to Kayla. She recognized me and she said, hi, John, like really aggressively and yelled it at me. And um, before I went on the vortex tunnel, like just about to go on the bridge, she lunged over it at me and actually startled me, lunged over it at me and said, bye, Mr. John. And uh, oh, that was great. So shout out to Kayla. You did a great job. She was scaring other people too. And that was really fun. And what's very unique about that whole UV area, the clown section at the end of Miles Manor now is that it was strobing black light. You don't see that very often in haunted attractions. You normally just see the black lights on. But since it was strobing black lights, all those effects were even more trippier and more intense and keeping you off kilter and making it easier for the characters to get you. And that was really cool. I really enjoyed that. Very cool ending. It was definitely very different from the year prior. They didn't have that before. And really enjoy that. Lots of intense scare acting in Miles Manor. I don't want to give it all away for you. I want you to be surprised, but there is a lot of really cool set design. Definitely that new library is cool and that whole like Victorian feeling like dining room was cool with video effects and that couch and there was a lot of really unique set design in there that I really enjoyed and I love the scare acting in that classroom. Oh my god, they were so intense. That crazy teacher in there telling everybody to sit down. You actually can sit down in these seats that look like you actually are in a classroom. And she's very aggressively yelling at you and telling you to sit down and pay attention to the rules. And when I was paying attention to her being intense, after I sat down in this chair, just like just like the chairs you have in a classroom, it's legit. It's really cool. And after that, I was paying attention to her. She has this book and she's slamming it on the different desks. And it was such an intense scene. So she was already really intense. And then other scare actors appear of evil students. And one scare actor jumped up on this desk, on this table that she was at, like her main table for the classroom. And she was screaming. There's a completely unhuman noise, the scream. And oh my God, it was so intense. And before she did that, all of a sudden she came out of the dark corner at me and startled me. And they were doing a fantastic job. Two thumbs up for me. That was an incredibly tense scene. Excellent job. You were scaring everybody in there, making everybody nervous, and everybody was trying to pay attention to her, but it was so intense, and the lighting effects in there, and there's a unique lighting effect in there that I'm not going to ruin for you. You have to go for yourself and pay attention. Make sure you pay attention to the chalkboard. That's all I'm going to say. If you do that, you'll see a really neat effect, and you're going to enjoy it. So... And then she told everybody to get out of there and that nobody listened anymore. And, oh, it was great. Kids these days don't listen to your rules anymore. And it was really good. I really enjoyed that scene. Incredibly intense. Some of the most intense scare acting I've seen this year in 2023. So shout out to you guys. You did an excellent job. So after you leave Miles Manor, you can go back to the Midway if you'd like to. You can get drinks there. You can have barbecue. Shout out to Tim's Barbecue. I had a brisket cheesesteak and it was absolutely delicious. They make it in-house there and they take a little bit of time to make it and make sure it's good quality for you. And it was delicious, very filling, and it tasted really good. So I definitely recommend Tim's Barbecue. And they had a DJ playing, and when he wasn't DJing music that was pre-recorded already, like well-known hits like ranging from Taylor Swift to Thriller, he was actually playing a guitar and singing. He actually did Piano Man from Billy Joel, so that was really cool. I'm happy they had that entertainment. So they had people coming up there, and they were dancing to different songs, and that was a lot of fun. So so he was doing a great job keeping the crowd entertained and Carnage the Clown from the Circus Rejects was walking around scaring people with a horn and 
taking pictures with the people, and there was Jason walking around early in the night, so definitely was lots of entertainment, mobile food options for you, so there definitely is lots to do at Value Fear, keep you entertained. And the last attraction is called Willie's Shipwreck Cove. So right after you do Miles Manor, you can walk right to the entrance of Willie's Shipwreck Cove, and this is a pirate-themed trail. So you do not see that often. You really don't see pirates often haunt attractions. You don't really see it. It's just not common. It's not a common theme. So seeing that already is unique, and then seeing it this well done is really impressive like at one point you actually walk through a pirate ship that they custom built so that was really cool and there's like these drunken pirates in there and the one was distracting me acting drunk and the other one scared me from the corner and that was awesome definitely a shout out to mobile scare actors because they had this whole skit played out where you go through like this creepy market and they had this one character with a hammer where he said he wants to use your scalp and your hair and everything and use it to make different products for you like to sell to people and he actually was talking to a person in front of me and he said he was going to take some of his head and oh it was great and some of his skin and everything and he actually took his prop hammer and act like he was going to hit him with it and it was crazy he was doing a great job and that all set up for this skit that's going to play out that i'm going to tell you about and one scare actor saw me in there and he said, this person's going to be my George. Follow me, George. And I thought that was funny. I kept on following him through the scene, got starred by that meat marker character and other scare actors being creepy. And he saw me and eventually he led me to this one scare actress. And she had this whole skit where she said, oh, you're the George. Okay. And she started talking to me and she had this whole awesome skit where she told me about her husband. It was the shrunken head she was holding. She said, touch him. And I touched the crop severed head the shrunken head and she had this whole skit about how she wanted to take my soul and it was really good quality and i told her i don't want to give up my soul i'd be dead then and she said no you don't have to worry about that you just get to live with all of us we're dead already and it was it was great so i really enjoyed that and when she was talking to me there was this character on the ground coming after me and that was really good and she said do you want him do you want to eat him and he like shook his head no and she's like Oh, too short for you, huh? Oh, okay, that's unfortunate. So, that was fun. So, it was, it was really good. I liked that skit. That was really well done. And later on in the trail, close to the end, there was like this really fogged out, creepy swamp area. And one character asked me how I liked the atmosphere and how I liked it there. If I was enjoying myself, something along those lines. And I said, I loved it. I love the spooky atmosphere. I love the swamp area. And she said, great. Oh, this one likes it here. We can feed them to the crocodiles. And another character came at me and was very intense telling me about how she was going to feed me to them. And that was really good. I really liked that. And not long after that, I saw a character and he had mobile prop axes. And he acted like he was going to cut my head off. It got very close to me with them. And that was really intense. So lots of really good quality scare acting on that trail. And definitely a shout out to the siren. I was going on this bridge not knowing if she was a prop or not because it was very dark. And all of a sudden she jumps down at me and screams and... That was incredibly intense. So you got me. The siren got me on the Willie Shipwreck Cove trail. There was lots of very creepy, just unsettling moments of just walking through the woods in there. And at one point, like mobile crazy characters, cloaked characters just come out of nowhere from both sides, having really creepy, unhuman screams. So the screams were on point. Excellent job with those screams. You definitely creep me out. At one point, you go through this bamboo forest and it's strobe and they have this very loud, like, tribal music playing and it was very cool you have to see willie shipper cove for yourself great scare acting i got star mobile times and there's lots of other scenes i didn't mention in this that i want to keep a surprise for you so definitely be sure to check out valley of fear i had an excellent time thank you very much and after it i got to talk to my friends grin and cheeks and hang out with mobile scare actors and talk to the owners and shout out to tom and everybody i met it was such a good night I loved it. I had a wonderful time. Definitely worth the drive, worth your time and money. It is a really good quality show. You're going to have a great time at Valley of Fear. Either you're going to be laughing, your friend's getting scared, or your friend's going to laugh at you getting scared. And it's just going to be a great time. You're going to be entertained. It's going to be a good time. Lots of entertainment in the midway, and all the attractions are high quality. And 
you're really going to enjoy yourself. It's definitely a good quality night out. You're going to enjoy it. There's so much to do. And it's going to definitely be a spectacular night for sure. So definitely two thumbs up from me, John, from the Haunt Informer. You will enjoy yourself and definitely be on the lookout for the creepy priest in the Miles Manor. This is his business card. So definitely very creepy. So there's lots to see at Valley of Fear. There are lots of crazy characters in there. And definitely another massive shout out to Grin from the Circus Rejects. Thank you for giving me this poster and signing it for me. And shout out to Cheeks as well. You did a great job. And Carnage and Kayla and everybody from the Circus Rejects. You did a great job. And all the scare actors, you all were clearly putting in 100%. Putting in your all. I absolutely love the dedication. Wonderful job. You gave me a great night out. I really enjoyed it. Highly recommend checking out Valley of Fear. That was the Haunt Informer. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get a notification every single time I put a new video. Give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends. And I am on social media and you can find all those links below. And tell me which attraction was your favorite of Valley of Fear? Valley of Fear in Feasterville, Pennsylvania. Tell me which one was your favorite. Tell me all that in the comments below. And as always, happy hauntings.